ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار the greatest sin and one of the worst and most hated things in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the issue of nifaq the sin of nifaq hypocrisy hypocrisy is when a person outwardly claims to be a muslim but inwardly he's in fact a disbeliever he doesn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the munafiqin in the Quran Allah Azza wa Jalla says inna al-munafiqin fi ad-darq al-asfal min an-nar Allah talks about the worst possible punishment given to the munafiqin and he says verily the munafiqin will be in the lowest pits of hellfire wa lan tajida lahum nasira and they won't be given any type of helper and so we see brothers and sisters this issue of nifaq being the worst sin that a person can be involved in one has to be aware of it one has to be aware of what it is and whether or not a person is staying away from it in fact imam al hasan al basri rahimahullah he said ma khafahu illa mu'min that nobody is afraid of it except that he's a believer wala aminahu illa munafiq and the one who feels safe from it is the munafiq it's only the munafiq the hypocrite who feels safe from from nifaq from hypocrisy and it's the believer who fears it and so when we feel a sense of safety and we don't think that this issue of nifaq applies to us or applies to our actions or our statements or applies in our lives then that's something which isn't from the characteristics of a believer the believer is someone who regularly checks himself reviews his actions and statements purifies his sincerity over and over again and it's something which is from the the acts of the believer the companions radiyallahu anhum ajma'in they were always wary and they were always concerned and they were always afraid that they would be from the munafiqin one of the companions hudayfa ibn al-yaman radiyallahu an was known as sahib al-sir the companion of the secret he was the one who was given the names of the munafiqin during the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and umar radiyallahu an once asked him he approached him and he said i ask you by allah am i one of the names that was mentioned to you by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as being from those who are from the munafiqin and so umar radiyallahu an himself was so concerned about being from this list of the munafiqin the hypocrites that he would constantly check himself and he would ask hudayfa radiyallahu an whether he was from them and of course hudayfa radiyallahu an responded no and i'm not going to mention or ask or answer any of these kinds of kinds of questions from any other companion after you abu darda radiyallahu an abu darda radiyallahu an he would say la la in astaqin if i was just sure anna allah taqabbala li salatan wahida that allah accepted just one salah احب الي من الدنيا وما فيها that would be more beloved to me than the dunya and whatever's in it just the fact that i knew for sure i had yaqeen that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had just accepted one of my salawat and this is because the companions were afraid of nifaq of hypocrisy when they were praying who they were praying for 
whether they were thinking about others or whether they were thinking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether or not they were doing things for the sake of showing off towards others or purely for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. And so we see, brothers and sisters, that this is something which the companions were wary of. One of the Salaf, he said, Adraktu thalathina min ashabin Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, I met and I interacted with 30 of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every single one of them was afraid of nifaq on themselves. Every single one of them was afraid of hypocrisy, that they may be involved in nifaq, they may be from the munafiqi. And so the lesson we can take from this, brothers and sisters, is that if the companions of the Prophet ﷺ were afraid of nifaq, and they were considered the best of the generations, they were the ones whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was pleased with, radiallahu anhum, Allah was pleased with them and they were pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If they were concerned about nifaq upon themselves, then us living today have to have even more concern with regards to whether or not we are from the munafiqeen, whether or not we have traits of nifaq, whether or not we have these traits of hypocrisy. And so one has to ask himself, do I have those traits? Do I have some of those traits that a hypocrite has? And one has to ask, what are those traits? What does a munafiq do? How does a munafiq think? What does, um, how does a munafiq behave? And we have to regularly check ourselves, check our intentions, think about our actions, our statements, the way we behave, the way we think towards others with regards to our acts of worship. Are we carrying, do we have some of those traits of nifaq, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from them. From the traits of nifaq, brothers and sisters, and I ask you, and I mention these by a list that I've gathered so that we can, every single one of us can reflect and think about our own actions and reflect about these traits of the munafiqeen. From the traits of the munafiqeen is that first and foremost, he is a disbeliever. He doesn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He doesn't believe in the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He doesn't believe in the prophethood of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. And he considers the believers to be lowly. He doesn't consider the believers who do righteous deeds. They want to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They want to please Allah azza wa jal. They do righteous deeds. They say good things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Muslim is the one who when he sees those things wants to be from them and loves them because they're worshipping Allah. The munafiq is the one who sees that and mocks them, makes fun of them, just for worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just for applying and adapting the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu in his life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَإِذَا لَقُلْ لَذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا That when it's said to them to believe, those who believe, those who have iman, they believe. وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَىٰ شَيَاطِينِهِمْ The munafiqeen, when they interact with the believers, they say, when they're with them, we believe. وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَىٰ شَيَاطِينِهِمْ And when they go and they disperse to their shayateen, they deny the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't believe in the message of Allah azza wa jal. With regards to this idea, and this belief of mocking the Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them that وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ النَّاسِ When it's told to the munafiqeen آمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ النَّاسِ Believe just like the people have believed. How do they reply? And this is in the beginning of Surah Baqarah. قَالُوا أَنُؤْمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ السُّفَهَا Shall we believe like the foolish have believed? Shall we believe like those who are foolish have believed? And so they look down upon the believers. They look down upon the Muslims. From the traits of a munafiq, brothers and sisters, is that a munafiq is happy when a believer goes through misfortune or trials and tribulations. When, he, when he's afflicted with trials and tribulations, with hardship, the munafiq is happy. 
And when the believer goes through something good, when something good happens to him, the munafiq is disappointed. And this is the trait of the munafiq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In tusibaka hasanatun tasu'hum. When something good happens, it hurts them. It's not something they're happy with. They don't feel happiness. Just like you're feeling happiness when something good happens. They don't feel the same way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِن تُصِبُكَ مُصِيبًا When a calamity afflicts you, when you go through some kind of trial or tribulation, يَقُولُوا قَدْ أَخَذْنَا أَمْرَنَا مِنْ قَبْلِ They'll say to you, we already prepared in advance. What happened to you didn't happen to us because we took precautions. We took precautions beforehand. So they'll rub it in. They'll make things worse. They'll make the first feel even worse. We told you so. We made precautions. Nothing happened to us. It happened to you because you didn't prepare properly. And they turn away and they're happy. They're rejoicing. And so we see, brothers and sisters, these traits are traits which the munafiq has. These traits are from the traits of the hypocrite. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he protects us from the traits of the munafiqeen. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم إنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين بنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين We were talking about the traits of the منافق and how the companions رضي الله عنهم أجمعين would have fear. They would be afraid of being from the munafiqeen. And they would always review their actions and check their sincerity and the ikhlas of their actions. We mentioned some of the traits of the munafiq. The munafiq is a disbeliever. Doesn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the message of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He looks, down upon the he looks down upon the Muslims. Thinks of them as foolish for worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anu'minu kama amana sufaha. Shall we worship as the foolish have worshipped? Shall we believe as the foolish have believed? And they would rejoice when misfortune afflicts the believer. And they would be annoyed and it would, it would hurt them when the believer goes through some kind of good. When something good happens to them, they don't feel happy for them. From the traits of the munafiq brothers and sisters is that they're only concerned about what interests them. The ayah we mentioned previously. When we tell those who believe to believe, they say we believe. They believe straight away. Whereas the munafiq, he doesn't believe. He says he believes in front of the Muslims, but then he goes ila shayatinihim. He goes to his shayateen, his associates, the disbelievers. And when they go to them, they say, Qalu inna ma'akum. They say, we are with you. Inna ma nahnu mustahzi'un. We were only joking. We were only playing around. We're not really with them. Because they're concerned about themselves. They're worried about their reputation. They're worried about what others may think. And so their concern isn't for the Muslims isn't for the community. They're worried about themselves. They're thinking about what's best for them. They're not thinking about the betterment of the Muslims. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us in a hadith about the characteristics of the munafiqeen. How do the hypocrites behave? What do they do? He said, alayhi salatu wasalam, arba'un man kunna fihi kana munafiqan khalisan. Four things. If it was in a person, he is a pure hypocrite. Woman kanat fihi khaslatun minhu. And if somebody has some of these traits, kanat fihi khaslatun min al nafaq. He has some of the traits of a munafiq. Hatta yada'aha. Until he leaves them. Until he abandons some of these traits. What are these traits? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us in the hadith, is that tumina khana. Number one, that when he makes a, a trust, when he makes a treaty, khana, he breaks the treaty. When a treaty is made, he breaks the treaty. He doesn't stick to the treaty that was agreed upon. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, continued, number two. He said, وَإِذَا حَدَّثَ كَذَبَ When he speaks, he lies. He's in such a habit of speaking lies and saying lies that every time he speaks, he's lying. 
The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about the third trait of the munafiq. That when he makes a promise, he breaks that promise. He's not somebody who sticks to his promises. And we know that the believer is somebody who's supposed to stick to his promises. And fourthly, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu concluded and he said, وَإِذَا خَاصَمَ فَجَرَ That when he starts arguing, when he starts arguing with somebody else, he resorts to insults. He starts insulting the person. He can't have a conversation with somebody else without resorting, if it gets heated, into insulting the other person. So brothers and sisters, these traits of the munafiq are traits that we have to be wary of. They're traits that we have to reflect on in our own lives, in our own actions, the way we behave, the way we speak, the way we think, whether or not we have these traits, may Allah protect us from them. And if we do, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove them from our hearts. We ask Allah azza wa jal that he removes all these traits of the munafiq from the hearts of us and our loved ones. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim ma innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim ma innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma aghfir al muslimin wal muslimat wal mu'minin wal mu'minat al ahya'i minhum al amwat inna Allah ya'murukum bil 'adli wal ihsan wa ita'i dhil qurba wa janha 'anil fahsha'i wal munkari wal baghi ya'idhukum la'allakum tadhakkarun fadhkuru Allah al 'azim al jalil yadhkurkum wa ashkuruhu ala ni'mihi yazidkum wa la dhikru الله أعلى وأولى وأكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون